really. Right, as you can see, we've now painted the sensors and uh, obviously need to clean the masking tape up, as you can see. Not a particularly easy job sometimes, but there you go. Remove the masking tape and to get the paint off the silicon, you literally just flick it like so. As you can see, the silicon is just paint that says falling off the silicon. And once you've cleaned all the paint off, like so, you can then clip the head on. Right way round would help, wouldn't it? There you go, just clip the head on. And as you can see, fairly successful painting. You can spend a little bit longer, obviously, uh, prepping the sensor, but as you can see from our demo, that uh, uh, it, it was done in seconds. But obviously, to get a much cleaner finish, you may want to spend a little bit more time cleaning the rubber up. But really, that's how you do it. And again, we can do the same process again for the next one. Same principle, get rid of the masking tape. And use the masking tape just really to uh, uh, prevent most of the paint going on the silicon rubber so it saves a little bit of time actually cleaning it off the silicon. And again, just flick the paint back, or the silicon back rather like that with your thumb. And as you can see, the paint pretty well just falls off quite simply. Clean it up. Clean the sink paint off the silicon around the edges. Sometimes I just run my thumb around the whole silicon and the actual sensor itself just to pull any little bits of paint off that are close to the edge of the uh, ultrasonic. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that, it looks pretty good to me. Um, just one more little thing there, we'll just clip and clean that little bit. <sighs> yep, yeah, fairly happy with that, and then. Uh, Again, clip the outer ring on, like so. Just make sure the rubber's not tucked back, and as you can see, fairly successful paint job.